For the first time in their short lives, the Bangladeshi twins, Trishna and Krishna, are sleeping in separate beds tonight. The formerly conjoined twins are now in intensive care after a marathon 32-hour operation to separate them. Melbourne's Royal Children's Hospital says they're doing very well. Surgeons worked in shifts to perform the delicate task of separating their skulls and brain tissue. As Maura Angle reports, they described the final separation as a surreal moment. After more than 26 hours in theatre, the twin girls are now living separate lives. We'd like to announce that there's been successful separation of the twins. Uh, 11 o'clock this morning, the teams managed to separate uh, their brains and they are both very well. The long journey began for Trishna and Krishna when they were handed to an orphanage in Dhaka after their birth. They were brought to Australia by the Children First Foundation in 2007. It's just a huge relief. This has been uh, two years and two months that we've been planning for this and um, it's a, a great joy that we've got to this stage. But the twins then had to endure another five hours in theatre for reconstructive surgery. It's an area where getting really good cover with good healthy tissue is going to be vital because that will minimise the risk of infection. The operation was finally complete at four this afternoon. Dozens of surgeons, specialists, nurses and other medicos had been working in shifts, but the hard work has been worth it. Uh, getting to that point when, you've known, when everyone has known these girls as one yes. with their individual personalities, to see them as separate human beings is a pretty amazing moment. The girls are now in intensive care, but will not share in the joy for a while yet. They'll remain under sedation for the next few days, and it may be a fortnight before it's known how successful the separation has been. Maura Angle, ABC News, Melbourne.